Hello foam fighters, I'm Dr. Flux. Today's video, we're looking at the Adventure Force Rebel Mech. Now this is a Busby product, and essentially some might call this a Stripe clone, and they would not be too far off because that's kind of what it is, uh, minus the rev trigger and the strange geometry of the entire blaster. But it does come with a drum, which is phenomenal and very cool, and it actually has a really good build quality to it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. We're going to be doing uh, chronograph readings, uh, range and accuracy checks, and just check out how good it is out of the package. So let's dive right in. The Adventure Force Rebel Mech. Now this is a Busby product repackaged for Adventure Force. And the cool thing about this is it comes with a drum. I mean, that is awesome. Just have another drum in the competition. Now this uh, comes with 30 darts and the blaster. It is a flywheeler. I am sad to see that there is a switch here to turn on the, the flywheels. And then it's probably just a, it's a mechanical pusher just to push them in. So uh, I, I don't know why this isn't a actual rev switch. I love the rev switch. I'm gonna probably try to rewire this as a uh, uh, normally closed configuration so that as soon as you pull the trigger, revving starts and then you just follow through to push the dart through. So we'll take, we'll have to take a look at that. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how much of this is solvent welded and how easy it is to get inside this blaster. So on the back of the box, we can see it has 30 darts, a drum and a blaster. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the package so we can check it out. Now the Busby Rebel Mech is really cool, actually. Getting this thing out of the package, you can clearly see it's got a very unique design to it. Starting at the front of the blaster, we have uh, no attachment points up here. The forward hand grip is actually pretty comfortable. I really like it. There is no Picatinny or tactical rails of any kind. There is a strange little compartment here for you to store possibly darts or batteries or whatever you want, really. But yeah, it's just a storage compartment. Uh, right here is where the batteries go. Kind of a select fire kind of switch here, but it's, it's actually to turn on the rev. And of course, once revs on, then you can just do mechanical trigger pull. So it actually acts as a lock too. You can't fire it unless you're revving. So that's kind of interesting. So you can't really jam a dart in there and kind of jam up the flywheels. The pistol grip is extremely comfortable for an adult hand. I actually really like it. It's probably one of the most comfortable Busby hand grips I've seen out there. Uh, overall build quality is very solid. There is no creaking here. This quality of plastic seems much better than I've seen with other Busby products and I'm really happy with it. So good job on that. Of course, the Drum is released with the uh, standard Busby release button, which I'm not a huge fan of. They seem to have been using this for quite a while now. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of having a release near the trigger, but I know that because of the spacing of this blaster, it's kind of what we're dealing with here. So we took this out and chronographed it. Now, uh, chronograph for standard darts that it comes with are pretty good. So upward is mid 80s or so.
I also decided to chronograph just your Adventure Force waffles because they are a great ammo type and I highly recommend, you know, if you're if you're at Walmart grabbing one of these and you see a box of Adventure Force waffles, you might as well grab some of those. You'll you will be thankful once you uh, see the performance of the darts that come with this. You'll be thankful to have some Adventure Force waffles with you. Which brings me to my next area in which we take this out and see how accurate it is. Now the first, as I said before, the long distance darts, the Busby long distance darts are just extremely inaccurate. I would even say that the Busby long distance darts are less accurate than the standard elites, you know, Nerf's elite dart. So I decided to also do a accuracy check with waffles and the waffles performed extremely well. It was uh, very refreshing to see how accurate the waffle head is. I then decided to test out its range claim of 100 feet. At first I wasn't sure if it would meet it, but you know, after seeing these darts fly, I realized, yeah, they definitely can go. Uh, I think the furthest dart was actually like 140. It was, it was way past 100, so very cool. Uh, the only downside, of course, is the long distance darts. Yes, they are long distance, but you can't accurately hit anything at long distance. It was a uh, very bizarre flight patterns, in fact, I think some of the darts were like 50 feet from each other. So overall, would I recommend this blaster? I would say yes. I would say this blaster is very unique to look at. The fact that it comes with a drum, which I didn't speak too much on the drum. And the main takeaway I can say to this is it's very good build quality. And when I fully loaded it up 30 darts, I had no jamming or feeding issues, which sometimes with the standard elite drums, I get that. So. I'm very happy with this build quality of this drum and its functionality, and I would love to get packs of just these drums. So I think that might be a thing. I'll have to look to see what Busby offers, but very impressed with this drum. And overall, I like the interesting aesthetics to it. Uh, from looking at it, I can say that I will be able to get in this thing. So let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see a mod guide on this where I just completely rewire it for 3S or at least 2S. Uh, this, uh, from looking at it, and I don't see any solvent welding, they've given us lots of screws. The plastic is great quality, so I can say doing a mod guide on this would not be too hard. In fact, this battery door is so friendly for putting a LiPo in there. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. So overall, final impressions, yeah, I recommend it. I think it's great. Well, I'm Dr. Flux, and that pretty much wraps up this review of the Adventure Force Rebel Mac. Let me know in the comment section if you think this is a cool blaster or not. Is this something you're looking to pick up, or is this something you might pass up? Once again, I thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy foam flinging. <laughs>